Folks, looks like little Elizabeth has met her match this time. All right. Come on, kiddo. What? Try to on. concentrate here. Get her. Strangle her. Shh. Jump on her mouth! Look at that! I got a door to fix. Well, we're, we're, we're here to... Damn it, Bill! You let in more flies. Would you just let the man in and shut the damn door? <laughs> so, how can we help you, Mr. Percy? Well, I'm here to interview your family for the Thrill of the Kill show, and I'd especially like to find out more about your little daughter, little Lizbeth Lemke. Stepdaughter? Liz is my stepdaughter. Okay, Steph taught her. I didn't want there to be any misunderstandings. Of course. Can I get you a cup of coffee? You know, I've had enough coffee for today, but thank you. Are you sure? Can I get you a glass of pop or something? Well, a bottle of Perrier sounds great if, of course, you have it. Uh, okay. Thanks, Mrs. Lemke. That's okay. You can call me Marge. Okay, Marge. <laughs> So, Marge, all of America is going to want to know every single detail about our three-time Thrill of the Kill champ here, little Lizbeth Lemke. Well, I can tell you one thing. Uh, she's a low-down, stinking brat, and I hate everything about her. <laughs> oh, I have to admit, she's always been a terrible brat. And it's all because of him. She's a low-down, stinking brat, and she doesn't deserve to be on your show. And you think you do? Well, yeah. I, Mom, you told me you'd get me on the show. Why can't I be on it? It's not up to me, Mark, honey. The state makes those decisions. That's why Daddy's little angel is on TV instead of his more deserving son. Stepson. Mark's my stepson. I didn't want there to be any misunderstanding. Well, folks, we gotta get moving here. We go live in about two minutes. Mama! Okay! All right, family, let's gather around. We've got one minute till the interview. Let's put on our big, big smiles. All of America's gonna be watching you now. The state reminds you that you're watching the thrill of the kill, and we're watching you.
<laughs> it looks like old Elmer's had a change of heart. Heart attack, that is. This kid is something. No, wait, boys and girls. This kid is something else. Mr. Lemke, how do you feel about your daughter's big win over old man Elmer? I felt sorry for him. All that humping over there at the Walmart for a pocket change. But, you know, after I seen him slam my little Lizzie to the blacktop, I wanted to jump inside that TV and smash that old fart's brain bucket in. I thought for sure we were going to lose her this time. Yeah, and my hundred thousand dollars. You mean Liz's hundred thousand dollars. Yeah, right. Hey, Mom. If Liz wins that money, we can get my operation, right? You told him we were going to give him surgery? You have a problem with that? That surgery will wipe out all of her winnings. You selfish bastard. Your son needs that procedure. That money's earmarked for her college education. I promised her. And I promised Mark he'd get his jaw fixed, and by God, I'll see that happen. Remember, Bill, if it wasn't for your little princess, Mark wouldn't have intermittent lockjaw syndrome in the first place. He was asking for it, teasing Elizabeth like that. Besides, he hit her first. Like hell he did. You'll get your operation, honey. Don't you fret. Well, this bunch is certifiably insane. We're in and out. Okay, everybody. Gather around. It's almost showtime. Big smiles. So, Mary, I'd like to ask Sister you... Sister Mary. I'd like to ask you a few questions about little Lizbeth Lemke, hmm. the record-breaking Girl Scout cookie sales phenomenon and three-time Thrill of the Kill champion. It is really difficult to imagine her on that show, dispatching all those poor souls up to heaven's pearly gates. <laughs> you don't really think that's where they all end up, do you, dead mother? Liz is such a sweet and gentle child. Why, did you know that Lizzie was the youngest scout to ever achieve her survival badge? And it was yours truly who taught her everything she knows. Oh, heavens, do you think you could pull a few strings and get me on that show? Oh, there's still a lot of fight left in these old bones. And putting Liz and me on the same fight ticket would really spike your ratings. Well, thanks for the offer, Dead Mother, but our ratings, they're just fine. Hey, boss, we got to get rolling. We still have that soundbite to get from Father O'Flanagan. That's right, we do. Yeah. Tim O'Flanagan? Yeah, he's little Lizbeth's next opponent on the thrill of the kill. <gasps> We're the state, building better citizens through hard work, strict discipline, and state-sanctioned entertainment for the masses. Please. Okay, and then we're shooting. God bless you, my girl. Oh. Mm. <laughs> <laughs>
Mm-hmm. How did you like my sermon today? Oh, it was wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm sure it was. Oh, Elizabeth. I've been waiting for you. Ladies, I think you should take off. I'll see you in church next Sunday. Lizzie and I have a, a little business to take care of. Ta-ta. Lizzie, you saw that religious experience, right? Are you ready to come to the water? And to have your sins forgiven? Man of the cloth, my ass. Let's hope little Liz got her swimming merit badge along the way, huh? Boys and girls, did you see what I just saw? Jesus Christ in a chicken basket, little Elizabeth here has freed another tormented soul. Hallelujah! Good win, Liz, I was rooting for you. Hey, no fraternizing with the talent. You know the rules. Little Elizabeth, anything you'd like to say to the nice folks back home before we introduce you to your next opponent? Never underestimate the power of Jesus. Or a well-placed right cross. Or the power of a good exorcist. I've warned you once. Do I need to find another camera op? Come on, man! Trouble in paradise, huh? <laughs> hey, that Father Tim got himself some new religion, huh, Bill? Yeah, and it was my little Elizabeth done smacked the goddamn devil right out of that heathen bastard. Bill, I will not have you blaspheme in my goddamn house. Duly noted, Marge. Sounds like we've got a family here of true believers. Well, I like to believe I have a special relationship with Jesus. A relationship with Jesus. You've never been inside a church your whole life. Just because a body doesn't go to church every Sunday and let those heathen bastards sift around in my pocketbook doesn't mean I'm not a believer. I prayed and the Lord delivered just like he always does. Hey boss, uh, we gotta get rolling. We still have the interview with the neighbors. Neighbors? Yeah. The Flemings! Oh, those interracious people next door? <laughs> Mind your manners, Mark. We don't use inner racist anymore. We call them mixed up marriages now, right, Mr. Person? <laughs> mixed up sounds about right to me, Mark. Hey, let's all gather around. Put on those big pearly white smiles because the cameras run in one minute. The state reminds you that you're watching the thrill of the kill and we're watching you. Footage of that sweet ass, you know? I want it for my personal stash. Oh, amazing. Hi, folks. I'm Percy Poindexter, host of Thrill of the Kill. Thanks for being here today. I have a few questions for you about your neighbor. 
that infamous Liz Lemke, little Liz, she's the reigning champion on Thrill to Kill. What can you tell me about her? You know, I, I don't know that much about her, but are we gonna be on TV? Hi, Mom! Hi. Uh, James, word on the block is that uh, you're a close friend of the Lemke family, Marge in particular. Now, I hear you do a little plumbing work on her. I mean, you know, for her. Can you tell me about that? Uh, you know, actually, I thought we were here to talk about Lizzie. Right you are, James. You going over there poking around in Marge's plumbing when you won't even lift a finger to fix our own leaky faucets? <laughs> so, you're not a professional plumber, James? <laughs> professional plumber. He wouldn't know a pipe wrench from his own pretty brown penis. Oh, can I say penis on TV? Stop. Well, Britt, I, I think that you did. Twice, as a matter of fact. <laughs> oh, excuse me, I have to take this. Okay. Today? All right, I'll, I'll do that. Uh, I'm sorry, folks, I apologize. That was the network and our plans have changed. We're gonna have to scrap, uh, reschedule this interview for a later time. So very nice to meet you though, Britt. Nice, oh, you too. very nice. And James, good luck with that plumbing career of yours. <laughs> So, you're the infamous B.D. Johnson. Welcome to the show. you damn right I'm B.D. 24 hours a day, holidays and weekends. Need to work on that handshake there, fella. It's a little bit like shaking a soft, wet cock. But you can call me Big Dick. Everybody else does. Okay, Big Dick. I'm Percy Poindexter from the Thrill of the Kill show. They told me you was a coming. Now time is money. So you gonna tell me what I gotta do to win some or am I gonna have to sit here like a big dumb ass and guess at it? You're gonna take on little Lizbeth Lemke, our three-time Thrill of the Kill champion. I may be ruthless and heartless in some of my business dealings, but even old B.D. Johnson has got lines he ain't willing to cross. There's $100,000 in it, if you win, or a government-sponsored death sentence, if you refuse. Donna, honey, I need you to hold all my cards. So where'd you say that little bitch was hiding? Hold on! What? What? What, what kind of what a what pleasant kind of surprise! Is this? I've been had an opportunity to put my wow. fight strategy wow. together. Where the hell's my or camera? Or maybe hire man? a personal trainer. Look, you let me worry about that, all right? Look, I gotta get going before that asshole Percy comes looking for me again. Okay? I'll give you a call as soon as I'm ready to make my move. No matter what, we are getting off this show. Okay? I'll this get is it. possible. <laughs> This is good stuff. This is... Thank you.
If God had meant us to have our feet up on coffee tables, he would have shaped them like TV remote controls. Well, family, it looks like your little girl just did it again. That's my little Lizzie. Gosh, I'm so sick of her. Why can't I be famous? I kill like a hundred contenders. Mark, why can't you be proud of her like the rest of us? Um, because I hate her. She has all the breaks. Honey, use your nicer indoor words. Liz, 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 that's all I ever hear. Oh, okay, oh, oh, okay, oh, 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 okay, oh, okay. Oh. breathe, breathe. We'll get there. Oh, oh. honey. Oh. 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 Okay, are you ready? Oh. One day I'm gonna bash her little head right in. Oh. And you might just get your chance. Good. Because I'll rip her face off. And yours too, Bramps. You and what army? Okay, everybody. Big smiles. Gather around. We go live in one minute. The thrill of the kill. Another state sanctioned, state approved entertainment option for you and your family. Nothing like the fear of death to get the best out of an interview subject, huh? Your job isn't to question the game. Your job is to roll camera when you're told to. You're talking treason here. Now look, I've only got a couple seasons left of this thing and I'm out of here with a golden parachute. Are you kidding me? Don't go fucking it up. Don't. Hi everybody, I'm Percy Poindexter, host of Thrill. You know exactly Thrill. who the hell you are. Uh, what you represent. <laughs> you do, do you? Well then, you probably know what I'm capable of. Hey, please just let us go. We're not interested in your televised barbaric blood sport. Huh. Conscientious objectors, huh? Well, let me tell you how it is, sister. The government's not asking you to be here for this interview. They're mandating it. Come on, honey. We don't have to be here if we don't want to. Uh, 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 I wouldn't do that if I were you. I No, I wouldn't. What's going on? Hmm. Well, that certainly didn't go like I thought it would, but hey, you gotta admit, it's great ratings. Great ratings, and I think we're wrapped and in record time. Are you serious? Bobby, I'm famished. I'll tell you what, let's go out and grab some grub. I'll fly if you buy. Well then, Mother Mary, you want it in. And you got your wish. And all without divine intervention. That's right. You're going to be little Liz's next opponent on Thrill of the Kill. Liz, what do you think about squaring up with then Mother Mary here? I mean, she practically raised you from when you were a toddler. And she taught you everything you know about being a Girl Scout. Huh? Yeah, that's right. Then Mother Mary. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about going up against little Liz here in Thrill of the Kill? I mean, you practically raised her from when she was a toddler, huh? Well, if it be the Lord's will, who am I to question him? Besides, he never gives us more than we can handle. Oh, Liz, would you be a dear and run to the kitchen and get us the sugar? I seem to have forgotten. Yes, then, Mother Mary.
you a fair fight. You don't make the rules, and yeah, but... you, you never take sides. <sighs> Is there anything else I can do, then, Mother Mary? Uh, no, no. Thank you, dear. Hey guys, um, we're gonna have to cut here real quick. I, I got some tech issues. I just gotta change a couple of settings. It'll just take a minute. to do to get this one? Um, oh. I had to leave an ending basket that could hold drinking water. None of the other girls were able to do it. Cool. What about this one? Right here. I had to build a campfire in the snow without using any matches. <laughs> awesome. What about this one right here? Oh, that one? Yeah. Most cookies ever sold by a Girl Scout in Girl Scouting history. No one's been able to break my record yet. Mr. Bobby? Yeah. Would you like me to tell you how I got all the other badges? Yeah, I'd like that. Why don't you take a picture? It'll last longer. <laughs> Mr. Bobby? Yeah? Thanks for telling me about the tea. I need a word. <laughs> We're just talking. I mean now. Yeah. Uh, I'll see you around, alright, kid? What the hell was that stunt at Mother Mary's? You got a death wish for the two of us, you asshole? Look, you better fly right, or it'll be at your own peril. Do you know how many guys there are that would kill for the job you have on the show? Do you? Jesus, man!
Hey, Mom, what are we gonna do for lunch? Oh, my God. <laughs> Kid, your mom must really love you. <laughs> Mark. Mark, honey! Oh, baby! <laughs> She's a little young for you, don't you think? Asshole. Our special little warrior here. She has a brand new challenger. I am gonna bash her little brains right in, and then, oh, I'm gonna eat them for breakfast. <laughs> yeah, okay, you know, I'm watching you train, and I think that you are underestimating her a bit. She's she's a pretty tough Girl Scout cookie. <laughs> Whatever, she have no idea what's coming. She's never seen anything like me. Dude, she's gonna mop the floor with <sighs> you, come on. She has nothing, she's a little girl. Are you sure about that? She's taking them all out. She's the champion. Beginner's luck? Dude, look at yourself. You're going down. You're going down. Whatever, man. You're going down. So is this how she was able to get her pathetic son on the show? <laughs> Jesus, Percy. This is a whole new low. Even for you. I don't know, Bobby. I think I could go a whole lot lower if I put my mind to it. Hey, where's a little rat Mark hiding out? He's out in the garage training, if you call what he's doing training. And by the way, why the hell are you pitting the two family members against each other? Listen up, Bobby. Listen up good. I do what I want, when I want, to whomever I want. It's my show. My way. You got it. You got something stuck in your teeth? Listen, you're gonna find yourself on the wrong side of this show and that's not a place you're gonna to wanna to be, my man. You got it? Now, look, let's go get some grub. I'm hungry. You're watching The Thrill of the Kill. State-sanctioned entertainment for the entire citizenry. This is what you wanted all along, isn't it? What have I done, Bill? God, for 
forgive me? What have I done to our family? What have I done to us? to Mr. Bobby, okay? Mm-hmm. He's gonna take you someplace safe. And Mommy and Daddy will come see you real soon. We promise. Okay? You stay strong, little girl. Okay? Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Come on, we gotta keep going. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Yeah, no, just go. 